things you need to process your own film is an adequate supply of darkness. Now that sounds a little ironic, but it's obviously true. And for those of us without a traditional dark room, it can be difficult to find a uh, supply of absolute darkness. And no, I don't want to hear about your ex-wife. Anyway, one of the traditional uh, solutions to the problem has been a changing bag, like this one. This is a, your typical, I think it was designed for 35 millimeter film. And I have processed uh, 4x5 uh, film in it. It wasn't any fun, and I abandoned this a long time ago. What I have been using is this beast. This is one of the largest changing bags I could find. It wasn't particularly cheap. Um, I, I added the box to keep the fabric off of the film holders. And it works, works quite well, other than it does tend to collect a little dust. And it's not particularly easy to store or transport. And I'm really frustrated with having to load it on one side and then you have to come around to the other side where the armholes are. So with this in mind, we started thinking about coming up with an economical, easy to use changing box that uh, was optimized for 4x5 film. And we came up with some pretty crazy ideas. Um, <laughs> those have gone to the shredder or recycling and no one's ever going to see those. What the basic concept was that we started with was something like this. And the idea was that this thing would just collapse in on itself and just all fold up and you could store it away. And, and uh, the idea had some merit, but it it wasn't working quite right. It was getting awkward. It was getting expensive. What we eventually ended up with was this. You can see we moved the armholes way down to the bottom so you, you can rest your arms on the table as you're using it. You've got easy access right here from the front. And since it's made out of cardboard and duct tape, it's cheap. A little Velcro holds it together. And the whole thing collapse down, reasonably compact, you know, for storage, you can slide this behind a couch or something to keep it out of the way. So anyway, we uh, started making some videos about how to build this and realized that we were probably overcomplicating the, the situation. After all, it's really not very hard to build it. If you know how to use a, a utility knife and duct tape, you can put one of these together in a couple of hours. And, uh, probably cost you under ten dollars. So anyway we finally took the video that we had that we had shot and just edited it together and said here it is. Um, you can take a look at the plans we have on the website and, and once you like I say once you've seen the basic uh, the basic design it's pretty easy to put one of these together for yourself. And you will then have um, your own source of darkness. So that sounded worse than we thought it would.